tasty whiskey. <laughs> Hi, y'all. It's me, your girl, Z. Did you forget the intro? <laughs> no. <the> break <laughs> no, I didn't. I already started because bitches like you. Oh, I mean, it's cool. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all, I'm V. And you are now tuned in to Super Ski, the hottest podcast in the motherfucking world. How y'all doing? How y'all been? I know we've been like a little second. She took a sabbatical, period. It was all her fault. Okay. Oh, that came from the back of my throat. It sounded like it did. Needed to come out. Um, we're gonna do a quick catch up. What you want with the girls and boys and nah, I'm back. Whatever. I don't know. I don't have anything to share much, but come get your nails done by me. You never got nothing to share. Like it's I been, mean, because nothing's been, so been going weeks. on. Nothing has been going on. Ugh. How about so much on nail journey? Like, I was, just said come get your nails. You said come get your nails done. You ain't plug yourself. I'm trying to hold your hand, but yeah. I'm your, I'm your new nail tech. Yeah. Yeah. She tried fifty dollars. But don't try to book just because you want to come stalk me. That's weird. That's weird. You gotta start meeting people out for play. They can't come see your house. No. I'm my, trying to get pushed up. My catch up is um, I'm just here. Okay, so let's get to the topic. Yeah. yeah. But no, nothing yeah. new. I don't know what I said last time. Whatever I said, I don't talk to anybody. If that's what? what I said. Wait. Update them about juice. So how you feel about juice now? Why would I update them about juice when you didn't even tell them nothing? Why the fuck? Because would I, why would I pour into a cup just from like you didn't you know? Because it'll it'll cup? it'll get there. It'll get there. Okay, you're right. You're right. Because right. really nobody knows. <clears throat> um, I'm really like uh, what's her name from that show? Ain't gonna, gonna shout it out. But you know how she like real personal, like she keep her presence to herself. Yeah. That's me. And I'm the one that's like, boy. <laughs> Big beans. <laughs> Bruh, I don't know why this shook you like that. Beats. Okay, so <laughs> why would I wear my thing? If I don't have an elf ear, I don't want it. <laughs> Ew. Please don't do big. You see how she kind of it's giving me real school vibes, yeah. Okay, so um I don't know what I told y'all last time. It's been like five years. Um we Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, wait, what's it? Okay. <laughs> Cause why? Um, I don't know what I told y'all last time, but I'm not really talking to nobody. Me and Juice, we still talk, but I just don't see myself dating him per se. Like this whole like I just been watching and trying to see, okay, is he boyfriend material? Because it's always us thinking, are we girlfriend material? Blah 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 blah. Nah, is this nigga boyfriend material? So I've been watching and trying to see if he's boyfriend material, and he's really not boyfriend material. Her. So I don't want him in that way. So there's that. Um, nobody knew. Just chilling. I have a new. I, nah, everybody not my friend. I have new acquaintances, but nobody knew. Tell them about your little. The little. Are we gonna talk about the little trip? Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Okay. In time. That's, okay. That's, just know when we start doing our Patreon, y'all have a lot of stories. Yo. That's on the Same. I actually like that. Wait. Tell on the bubble series. Yeah. How, like, would it be like dramatic? We like narrow. How would we go about that? Just make our stories dramatic. But it's going to be the truth. But. Dramatic is how it is. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Dramatic We got to I say it with fuck I say. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, we'll get into it. We get... I don't like what she said after that. The whole like, no. Like who is that? <laughs> I like her. Uh, she... Yeah, she real cool though. But that I'm saying, like, I don't like her. Yeah, I, know I don't like nice. the song though. Then, but hey, what's love got to do with it? So, what? Shut up. We gonna get to the first topic, and the first topic is. I'm gonna pay for his body. And I had like more to it. I gotta start putting details aside to what I had to say because it was more to it. And I don't remember no more. 
But I'm going to go off what I thought I was going to talk about. Oh, I guess it's like, you know, how everybody buying their bodies now. Like, how it's in about your body. You know, it's a lot of men that buy their bodies as well. Yeah, speaking of uh, them six packs and the the chin the chin remover thing, which I think would be kind of cool because... Honestly, I'll take that right now. Cause... Yeah, just take a little out. Or like, I like when I do my, my eyes and they go like this and they angle downward. I like that. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about it? Because I seem like the last I think one thing that I saw that made me want to like talk about it was I seen like these three groups of girls like th- wow these three girls they all got their BBLs and they was all like in the same room with each other just you know healing together as a group they went to BBLs. Cute. It's cute that y'all doing it together y'all supporting each other, but ten dollars a month Planet of fitness free sidewalk. I mean sometimes like I be thinking I mean it's like total talk. I would. Like, if I had not the money, tell me to, but light bulb, like right there. Yeah, if I like, cause my thing is like, there's nothing. There's not like I like my body. I don't want to make any major changes. If I did anything, it'll either be just be lipo, cause girl, that. Oops. Or like, what? What is the Brazil? Is the Brazilian butt looking to take it out your stomach and, and put it in it, your butt? Yeah. I would do that. I would do that too. I just wouldn't take all of it in my butt. Or not even put it in my butt. Just like, just throw it away. I don't need it. Um, but um put it all in there all right so (laughs) all right so um yeah i would do that but i wouldn't put it all in my um booty (laughs) hole i wouldn't i wouldn't put it all back though because i want to i like how domo did her is real natural I don't even. You can't tell. She no, can work out. I just don't even follow her, so I don't even know. I don't follow her either, but I've seen her. But I never see her. You have to from uh, explore pages. I don't see her on my explore page. I don't see her when people repost her, so don't copy me. Well, what people you follow watch? Never mind. My cousins. <laughs> Explains it. Who? Nineteen year old. No. Twenty year old. No. Like, how old is she? Not. You see my age? Mm-hmm. Not her. Uh-huh. She probably do though. But um. Yeah. I feel like it's okay, but people are starting to like frown upon it because I guess people making it too like um too much of a thing, like buying bodies. But I feel like shoot, if you got the money, do it. It was cute, or I mean, it wasn't even cute. I yeah, if you do have the money, do it. I would do it. Just I would the, do just it. the stomach area. I don't even want no massive want, surgery. Yeah, I don't want except for my nose. nose. I would get nose surgery, but I'm actually okay with contouring. And if I have to do that, then I'm just so be it. Yeah, but. I would do it, but it would be nothing major. You seen that post, Carlos Miller post that he said, bitches walking around with um, asses that used to be in their stomach. They got asses that used to be in their stomach out there. Carlos is funny. He is. I look hello. You say like you know him, Carlos. Girl, I look hello. Carlos made it. Never mind. You know I was going to go with that. Yeah. yeah. No, mm-hmm. Okay, but I would do it, but it's just like, what a... People don't really ever talk about like the risk in BBLs. Like, what are the risk factors? Cause this is there's some like there's some. I mean, probably internal bleeding. Maybe they go too far. Maybe the recovery time, the infections on the little the whole incisions. Okay, maybe I'm dying because you're under anesthesia. I'm gonna say this, and I don't. I'm not trying to be problematic or anything about like nothing like that. But I don't like Santana's. He had a BBL. He got something. I think I don't. You go ahead and keep talking. I'm gonna I don't really like Santana's, and I love him. Or I don't know what. Whatever. I love Santana, but I don't like him. Cause like you can tell, and it's just let me let me look at it with you. Too. I don't like it. I don't really like it. Because it don't look like they did what they were supposed to do. Like, it's still, like, they should have. I mean, you can see it's more, like, defined. And but it's, it's still, more like. Shape, but it's still the same. It don't, yeah, I don't like they did what they were supposed to do for real. I want to see what his front looked like. That's, yeah. That's what, I didn't, that's what I didn't like. He got the fanny pack and the purse in front, so I can't really see. He only got his hand right there. Oh. Oh, well, okay. I, I see it now. Yeah, it looks fine. It's just... I don't know. I feel like it could have been better. It's really the beard that's throwing me off. But no, Santana looks good. I just yeah. I guess I seen it when it first happened. 
But I didn't like it. Did not like it. <clears throat> but um, overall, it's like if you want to get it, get it. Just you know, make sure you check. Make sure like. If there's any risk factors for you, because everybody's different, to be honest. You don't know how it might affect you. And go to somebody that's really good, please. Don't just go to any old body. Okay. But no, nah, like just be careful who you go to. Like, honestly, I don't mind working out and working for the body I want. But I mean, if I had the money and if I really wanted to, I'll just get a tummy tuck every video. I mean, but it's crazy because you have to, you get one and you have to exercise. Yeah, you do. You still have to keep up with it because you, you gain just... it back. I'm not finna go. Like, my thing is, I probably would never get one because I don't like, I don't want to be put to sleep. That's my issue. I would. That'd be some good sleep. Mm-mm. Or night sleep. That's the same reason why I don't do, I would never do no psychedelics. I just don't want to be put to sleep. Psychedelics. Yeah, I like I, things I wouldn't do is like surgery unless I had to. They put to sleep, psychedelics, like acid, um, mushrooms, and um, whatever else will have me hallucinated because mentally, you're not you're not there. Yeah, yeah. Tell me like I'll be <laughs> I'll be devils. <laughs> I'll be like take me to the hospital. <laughs> I said it's supposed to say my friend. I'm saying take me to the hospital. I'm gonna tell them about them demons right here. I seen it on TikTok. Well, no. But yeah, overall, if you want to buy your body, buy your body. I think it's like, I mean, I don't think nobody. I mean, but a lot of people are going out of the country to do so. Yeah. So you first of all, you have to be COVID free nowadays. You may or may not have to be vaccinated soon just to fly out of the country, and it's cheaper in different countries. Because you have your your two week recovery home and nurse, mm-hmm. and you also have the surgery itself, the flight, and the necessities you need, like medicine, all the other stuff. And this one girl, she literally took out ten thousand dollars her bank, and it covered everything. She still has some left over. I saw that. I think. What's up with veneers too? Um, I don't. I mean, she... veneers are veneers. I mean, just don't get the extra large. Man, I'm tired of seeing these rabbit ass. Oh boy! Like, can y'all just get something regular, regular size, like what you had before, but a little better? Not a lot, but like your teeth should not be, my, no. Maybe like yeah, X X large. <laughs> would you? I don't think. I, would you get your teeth done? Mm-hmm. I would too. They just be talking about keeping up with it. I don't know. Like people try to find any and everything to look down to people that get like. Their teeth did, their body did, like, oh, but you got to keep getting it done, like, over and over and over okay, again. Just like, okay, just worry about yourself in your pocket. If they pocket some sturdy and your pocket some, mind your business. Mm-hmm. Mind Stay your, your fucking business. Bracket. Stay in your, your fucking ministry. lane. Okay. Okay. And that's on what? Mary had a little name. I was going to say on period, but we were... Not on the same page. I'm glad you didn't yeah, say anything, because we would have been like, ah. Yeah, that's on period, but... Mm. But I don't have nothing else to add. But I think I don't know. In the future, if I if I have a little, you know, some itch, I might throw it back there. If my dump truck, not how I want it to be. Did you see um Rosa? How he um. Mhm. I love it. I like that one. I love it. Yeah. Love it, it. it did a significant confidence change in him. You can definitely. You can tell. But sometimes <clears throat> stuff like that. It will take forever to get rid of when you're working out. So it's like, I don't even blame him. I mean, it's easy, but I would do it because I'm just lazy. Now I'm really like working out. Well, see, when I did work out, I was in there in the gym. But then COVID hit and I was like, oh. Mm. But yeah, I liked it. Just had to shot that out real quick. We can go ahead and move on to the um, <clears throat> next topic. How would you deal with a leeching family, mem- leeching family member? What do you Basically. Mean by that? You want to make it there? Do you have any route to destination? You what make, do you mean you by that? You have route to destination yet. Turn left so I can continue my statement. What do you mean by that? I'm going to still say it. Do <laughs> <you mean laughs> still say it? <laughs> what do you mean by that? How would you do it with your family members? So let's say you got the money and you really the only one working. You don't want to pay for something. They living with you. They're eating off of you. And like, if you don't do what they want, like... Let's say cook for them. Or just anything small. They want to like argue with you or talk you down. But they just, they're not providing. They're not helping. They're not thankful. They're not putting in nothing. 
and they just leech you off. But that's let's say for instance, it's like your um your mom or whatever, and she can't really work no more. And like, but you doing stuff for her, but she's not appreciative. And let's say, you know, let's just use the mama thing. Well, in the long run, it'll do better for you because you know you did something well. But I wouldn't hold nothing over anyone's head. Like, oh, I provided for you for this many years. Yeah, and I done let you do this and the third and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'll be like, hmm. Okay, but in the long run, I mean, the person will understand and eventually be grateful or to just die a bit of bitch. It depends. It depends. Because I was in that situation. I try to show more gratitude. But when you zoom, mm-hmm. But I was just but not feeling it. I'm saying more like, because you weren't complaining about stuff to them. Like, you wasn't saying, oh, oh you no. don't do this, you don't do that. Mm-mm. My thing is this. I complain If, if you... Room. If you're not really putting no money in, you live in the my space. Like I, it's, like it's even though like let's say you're my mother or something or you're my sibling, I expect like some type of respect because all I do is work all day. I come home and take care of you and whatever else I got going on. I can't really live my life because I take care of you, and then I got to come here. You complain about oh you're always doing this, you're always doing that. First of all, you're at my house. <laughs> you're at my house, so I just feel like. If somebody looking out for you like that, and it's just, but then let's say for instance, like you get in an argument with them, they they really hurt your feelings, but then they try to be like, I'm sorry, yada yada yada. Then can you send me this? Can you give me this? Can you do this for me? I don't like people that apologize just so they can get back in your good graces to get something out of you. That's not genuine. And that's not fair, especially if we're family. And if we're close family, then that's not. I don't fuck with that. I used to do that. I think I, I might do it a couple times here and there. But it's like. I don't think it's out of that type of no. situation, though, because that's toxic. Well, you know. Yeah. But not like that. I'll give you an example. Let's say. Oh, I, I know one. Okay. Never mind. Uh, uh, I ain't going to say it. But we're here? We're here? No, we're not here. We're not here? No. Mm. Okay. It's, it's not about me. Just, just I thought it was about you. Apparel. <sighs> pearl. <clears throat> yeah. Uh-huh. Wait, it's two apparels. No, like apparel and pearl. Yeah. Um, my throat. Why did you do that? One second, y'all. I need some water for my precious throat. Now, see, what? Okay. Um, when you were talking about leeching, I don't know why my brain automatically went to people in other families not accepting you, like significant otherwise. That's what I thought when Ooh, I had skin. We can talk about that. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that's. That's a good that's topic. That's a good topic. That's a good topic. Okay. Continue with this. Oh, you look. I, I, yeah. <laughs> All I said was, oh, um, Pearl and, uh, I'm upset today. You would be like, bleep them, bleep. I'm okay. I'm going to have an episode with you. I said that before. You know, yeah. you so funny. You got to go on the short one. Yeah. Like, on the bonus one. I'll put, you see the conspiracy? I'll put it. Yes. Okay. Come here. What are we talking about? Oh, I <laughs> Pearl and um, Pearl, you know how Pearl would be like so loving and so caring, giving a Pearl her awe, and it's just like, ooh, and then there go Pearl, fucking up, come back with some weak ass flowers and a card. <laughs> Chivalry ain't dead, baby. Accept me back. Do it again. Over and over. And over, and I don't know anything anymore. I don't, I don't know even why. Know. I just want to just like snort it. cocaine. Like I just is like, anytime we talk about pearl, you want to do some hardcore drugs. Like I just have to like, but um, woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna beat you back in, but not how you. Okay, so um, I 
Okay, um, <laughs> let's talk about, okay, but more story. Some people need to be more um grateful and appreciative when somebody's really looking out for them and you're not really, they're not asking you for much and they just, that's like using a good person and then you be, then they flip on you and be like, why did this happen? Why? I think something's wrong with my throat. Okay, I was ready to Like the last couple of days, off topic, I would drink something and I just go so fast. And I feel like it's because I'm like borderline dehydrated. But I'll drink some water, I'll drink my coffee, and I might have a, a Diet Coke here. I might have a Diet Coke. And every time I drink it, it just gets stuck right here. Right there. Right here. Let me see. You feel it? Two I'm not CCs. dying! <laughs> Two cc's of morphine. <laughs> Stats. <laughs> Dramatically. Get Gray in here right now! Okay, so, um, what was you saying? What was that? I don't know. You was talking about, um... I don't know. I don't know. Because I was saying a closing statement about something, and then you cut me off. I don't know, bitch, that you, like, a rude-ass bitch that you always is. Dirty, musty, crusty, all that. But, <laughs> I to let you. Um, anyways. Yes, man. What bitch you talking about that got white hair? Yeah. Don't you please like <laughs> <laughs> No, this hair was blonde before. Whatever. Go ahead. Right. Bitch is like the lie. It was. I died in myself. I'm sorry. Did you hear something? Let me snatch that. <laughs> oh my God, don't do that. Y'all got. Right. I'm going to have a whole other cast out over here. Now nah, I'll be fine. You sure will be. And that's the gag. I got a hairstyle for your hairstyle, and a hairstyle for your hairstyle, and a hairstyle for your hairstyle. Anyways, what was you saying? Closing statement. Closing statement. Just be more appreciative. Don't like. Just want to use people because that's how good people blow up on you because they just you wearing them thin, and especially when they're not asking you for shit. So be appreciative. Don't be no motherfucking leech. Yay. That's what I was gonna say. Um. There's different ways to show your gratitude. I was gonna say appreciativeness, but I know that that don't even sound right in my cranium. Um, big word. Call Galingus. Call Galingus. All right. Um, there's different ways. Call Galingus. Go ahead. <clears throat> like you can do a grand gesture, but don't do it to apologize. You know what I'm saying. I mean, it's like if you're doing it to apologize, do it out of the kindness of you. Be be genuine with what you do. Mm-hmm. That's a big thing because I really, really hate when people like do the whole we argue and then boom, get back in my good graces because you need something. That shit really bugs me, and that's why. Who did that to you recently? How you know? Also, to give because it because normally topics come up when do you see some or experience something. Yeah. So who did it? Juice bitch. At anytime, like we were. That's why he was kind of on the phone. No, he was trying. Oh, that was an act. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just like, it happened with him and it happened with other people in the past. But it's like, when it comes to that type of stuff, I might not be present all the way, but I'm more aware of certain shit. So it's like, flags like that where it's like, we argue, then all of a sudden we back good because, oh, you want, you might want something, whether it's a couple things, not going to get into that. I don't like that because it's not genuinely because I'm still mad. We didn't talk about nothing. That's just you sweeping it under the rug right now so you can do what you want. But if, if, but then you're going to bring it back up, bring it back around, around town. And I ain't supposed to be up. I don't bring that shit around town. Right here. Let's just go I don't know why I want to just, pop my collar on that note. Just ever since I was a toddler, I've been popping my Let's just collar. go on to the next. It's yours. Oh, wait. I was going to talk about. Oh, of the uh, uh, significant others, except yeah, the other families. I don't know how you got close to me like that. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> I just thought you might have something to say. You need a mic? It's right there. What was that? Look, like, oh, because it'd be petting. I guess I'll go to see and got shit to say. No, I, I do. I do. Okay, so me personally, I don't really give a damn what your dad, mother, auntie, sister, brother, uncle, cousin, second cousin, twice removed, give a, think about me. I don't what care. does that even mean? I, I think removed. twice removed is like, was you removed twice out of the family? Like either you were banned because you were doing drugs or maybe you were married into the family and they got divorced and got out together. That's where I'm going with it. 
I really, that just made me watch the Tyler Perry movie. Go ahead, though. I'm watching that when I get home. <laughs> okay. Um, but I mean, it is nice to be accepted by them because it can always be in your ear or the significant of his ear. My, but one thing that I don't like is like you know how like some relationships some relationships really fail when it let's say y'all been together for a minute and then you get to the point of okay meeting the family the family don't really like you I let's say the mama don't like you then boom for some reason the relationship they start to get weird between y'all I hate when people really let other folks dictate who they with like my mama gotta like you no the fuck no, she, she don't. don't I mean it's unless, cool and all but unless it's one of those things where like mother knows best type shit because sometimes they do. And I'm not good for you, which not the case because who a bitch, but calm down. Um, <laughs> then, because sometimes it be real heavy ass mama boys, and it just shit. It, that's a weird relationship, first of all. Real weird. Check yourself on that. Really How weird. is it weird? You never seen them really weird, like mama boys. Oh, just, like always putting the mama first. Yeah, and it's like, if you want to put your <clears throat> mama, just say that. But I mean, it's okay to a certain extent. I mean, yeah. whatever relationship you have with your parents, that's what you do. But if you want to be in a relationship, you got to know how to balance it. There has to be boundaries. There has to be, it's different. Like, once we get serious, if there has to be like a level of understanding between whatever you and your mom got going on and us. Because one thing about, like, I respect the mother because whatever, that's your mama. She pushed you out. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lane. So, I mean, then again, I don't really give a fuck. If you don't respect me, I don't respect you. That, but, like, that's my thing. It's like, how do you handle your mama disrespecting me and you just want me to sit here and you're not saying it to your mama? Because, like, bro, that's... Because you're not saying anything means you're disrespecting me. But then the mama can also put a car. You're disrespecting me. I pushed you out. I was there first. Blah, blah, blah. You got to know me wrong. So. It, it, bro, literally... At some point, you got to understand, like, this is blatant disrespect. Like, yes, Miss Charlene, this your son. I'm the girlfriend here, fiance, whatever the hell. I'm I not dating if your mama named Charlene. Whatever. I said what I'm I said. Scared. Yes, yeah, Miss Charlene. Yeah. <laughs> Should. But at some point, like, it's disrespecting me and you want me to be with you. I'm not going to be with you. And next time I come around, your mama talking about me or throwing shots. It's like, because oh, Look at that girl with that red wig on. Send me she fast. She out here, she's cheating on you, and she's doing this, that, and that. And then if you can't turn. stick up for me to your mama, then what? Like, I like feel like it's a little problematic, because, like, I feel like, but one thing is, I appreciate to see that a man has a good relationship with his mom, because that says how you're going to treat me, how you going to treat your daughters, because it's No, you. it don't mean that at all, because... I'm not done. Ugh. But go ahead, because I know you listen to that same thing, so... Because ahead. that, you could have been... Ooh, your word. You could have been growing up around your mom, and your mom been treated bad. And you see that, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do that to my mama. And then you turn around and do it because it's been embedded in your brain. Yeah, so a real good relationship means mental, heart to heart, not like, mm, I mean. <sighs> but I feel like it is important. Because if you don't, if you disrespect your mama, it's the 50-50 chance you're going to disrespect the fuck out of me. 75-25. 95. 95. 99.9. 100. 5, yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you out here disrespect your mama, you gonna disrespect me too, and I just know that for a fact because well, I don't, I ain't have to. Like I your just, mom should be the number one lady in your life, <clears throat> unless you don't. Yeah, unless you get, have that relationship, then or, I don't know about number one lady because once, once you get married, I don't. If it's my son, I don't want him to prioritize me, prioritize me over his wife because you got your own family now. They come first, you know. So I, I don't know. I haven't been in this situation. I just see telling the others. I want to talk to the family. <laughs> but um, like the what's that one where she had a curly wig and she went on a date? Uh, Big Happy Family. I don't think I remember that one. That's it though. Hmm. I don't know. It's it's a. At the end of the day, I don't care what they think, and if you care, that's on you. But I'm it not gonna change it my appearance or my demeanor or whatever the fuck. For your mother. I don't do that for my mom. I don't for nobody. Like, I'm respectable and I'm sweet and I dress how I dress. If she want to prejudge me and I get to know me, that's on your mom, bro. Like, but that shouldn't be like, oh, my mama don't like you. I can't be with you. I'm sorry. I didn't know we were in sixth grade. I mean, I would say that about her. If, if my mama don't like you when she see a red flag, nine times out of ten, that red flag be popping up. Yeah. But that, and it's but, just her. It's just her. But my thing is, like, 
she she I think it wouldn't get too far in the relationship before she like yeah, it would that. be like off the initial and first you meeting. would probably be most likely aware of it but not really seeing it as well like after a certain time then because you're not at that like you're more aware of stuff like mm-hmm. you're more mature on that level so it's just like but she might get something you don't see but it wouldn't get to that point where it's like y'all finna walk down the aisle and shit well how do you feel about significant others meeting parents I'm sorry. The last nigga fucked that up for all y'all. Just gonna be clear about that. Y'all will meet them <laughs> when you meet them. If you will meet your family at a certain time, that's on you. But just PSA, you'll meet my people when I feel like, like maybe two years, three years. Literally, last not, one they set up. I'm sorry, y'all not coming around. Like, not, nah, nah, nigga, fuck that. Point blank. And y'all might be saying, "Oh, she carrying baggage." No, nah, it's just I'm not bringing nobody around my my around my people, my brothers, so they can gain a relationship for what. I need to make sure you solid before I bring in my people. Bro, I think I think the marriage, like the mar- the day before the wedding day, maybe perfect rehearsal so they can get to know you. Yeah, a little bit. But no, like in all honesty, it'll. I'm not it longer than a year before I bring in my family, and I'm not gonna ask to meet your family. But if you bring me around before then, you can't be able to tell me about like when can I meet your people. It's not I'm hiding you. You might be my sister. You might be my like close friends, my best friend, but. You're not meeting my my people. Correct yourself. My best friend. It's me. I said my best friend. It's me. I said my best. I just want to know it's me. Okay. okay. <laughs> Second half. But yeah, just being clear, I'm just not doing that again. Like, it takes one time for me to learn something like that. Cause it takes me a couple times. You had me fucked up. You had my family fucked up. All of us fucked up. No, nah. me. You'll meet them when you meet them. And if that's and I feel like that should be understandable because you know how like some people that go off to college they be with somebody for like two years or plus, then you meet then like oh mom bring somebody home for the holidays like how long you catch me out in Kroger, mm-hmm. on, mama, you probably hear that. But it's just like it's not even about hiding. It's not about fear. It's just like I need to make sure that we're serious enough to that point where it's like okay I'm bringing around people that are really really dear to me, and you know that and we both have that respect and we we in here for the long run and i know stuff happens and that's exactly why i'm gonna give it that time and like even if something happens at that time okay cool i gave it time maybe it just didn't work but the whole within a year or before that you know that's not solid that's real high school Mm -mm. the whole knocking on the door hi i'm someone so i'd like to date your daughter and that's exactly why i don't want nobody to come get me because you know no. Mm-mm. First right. of all, my mama be at the window all the time. And I get that, like, it's a respect thing, and I like that. You should want to be respectful, but you just, until we at that level, you're not coming to get me from my house. You don't need to know where I live. It's a different generation, honestly. Honestly, I feel like it is, because not everybody think like that how it was back in the day. You gotta, like, I like to separate relationship or whatever <clears throat> I got going on and family. Now, I tried to do a little Jordan together. One big other family did it. No, mm-hmm. I'm going to keep that separate. And then I will go to my mom if I need advice or something. And like, you know, I wouldn't, like, my thing is, I would love for my boyfriend to have a relationship with my close uncle and my dad. That would be cool. But they don't play that shit. So it's like, like I said, the last nigga fucked that up for you. I'm just being honest. So once you come around them and they not going to fuck with you off with because of the last nigga. And that's not me. That's them. Because they seen what happened to me and how hurt I was. They don't want to see nobody else come through that shit. So you might actually go through the <clears> rainbow. <throat> but <clears throat> that's just like, not like trying to scare nobody off, but it's just like being more realistic. Just, shit. if you're trying to be in a relationship with me, don't expect to be my mom on the third day. You're not. You're not. Niggas don't know how to take time nowadays. Niggas want to... I know it was a lesbian relationship. <laughs> Next topic, build a bitch. Um, <laughs> What's the topic, build a bitch? Yeah, so build your ideal person. Like, say all the qualities. And then, you know, if they really pay attention, because I'm going to title this episode What We Want in a Person. So... They can find this episode and see, they can do a little checklist, see if they meet the requirements. If they don't. Okay, so, all right. I will do this, but it's like, you know, I don't have like an exact list on how the person be because maybe, who knows, what if that list is not who my person is meant to be type shit. 
But my just identity, what you would want in a person. But what I want a person is somebody emotionally intelligent. Um, cause like I can be emotional, and I don't need somebody that's gonna be able to like you know be there for me. I wanted to also some like somebody that equally cares and loves me how I care and love about them. How it's like we both pour into each other's cups and we're both you know full type shit. Mm-hmm. Smart, driven. I can't I can't deal with no lazy shit. Um, protective, street smart. You ain't gotta be a hood nigga. Just street smart. Um, <clears throat> it was talking about like. Cat, like physicalities type how they look okay I mean, that never matters yeah that don't matter please. i mean it do this is how i mean please um i'm a big bitch um but that's really the main ones emotionally intelligent um it's some other stuff too i can't think about it right now you might say some stuff and i'm just yeah emotionally intelligent smart street smart protective just aware conscious whole lot of shit that a lot of niggas I dated did not have. Just mature. Please. I'm not throwing shade. Just being honest. I probably wasn't as mature either. But maturity is a big for me. And it's somebody I can be able to talk to. And then like they don't try to make it out to be about them. Or like I'm trying to argue. I deserve a lot of love. Not like. I deserve. Okay. I deserve mm-hmm. to be loved. Um, first thing first, your ears have to be clean. I don't like Wait, earwax. What nigga? I asked if it's like carry. But this like, is this is for me. This is for me. That's a must. Oh my god! <laughs> because I was in a relationship with a person, and I didn't really see too much ear cleaning. Um, <laughs> I don't like if my ears itch. I'm cleaning out with a Q-tip. I actually stopped doing that. I give them little scalpels to pull it out. Um. But yeah, that's a that's a big must. Um, hygiene. I just don't want to smell you. Like, not bad, but the them hef- them heavy, loud um, cologne. Stop. It's not cute. As it smells. It's not. Cute. I know what Axe body spray smell like. Don't want to ever smell it again. Sorry. I like something light and like airy. Not too much baby powder ish, but you know. More of the outdoors, like, uh, what's that? Pine. I like pine smell. It's nice. Um, if you're a drug user, don't rely on drugs. I don't really like that. Um, yeah, it's not cute. I don't want to see you crying in the living room, smoking a blunt, instead of actually talking. I cry in my corner, and I don't talk. But that's totally different. I'm going to talk about me. I'm talking about you. Um... <clears throat> Not so judgmental. I already don't talk as it is. So, if I feel like I'm being judged, I'm not going to open up. Period. If I come to you with a problem and you want to argue with me because I came to you with a problem or I told you how I felt about something and it turns to an argument, cut. And I'm going to purposely argue with you on the first initial meet. Yeah, you, just you, you do do that. I do. Mm-hmm. You do do that. <laughs> do do. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. Um, I know we're charged. Yeah, we are. Um, I'm not going to say broke, but financially stable enough to handle yourself. And me. Yeah. Um, am I that way? I'm not getting into me. Um, don't try to control what I wear. That's a quality that I... I don't like that, because it's real, it's real controlling. I think we talked about that. We did. Um, I, Yeah. And not, wait, securing yourself enough to handle yourself. Yeah. As securing yourself, like, confidence-wise? Yeah, if you know you got a bad bitch from me, hello. <clears throat> you know, people are gonna I, think, I don't know, I think I heard it on a podcast. I, I seen it somewhere. But some dudes, they'll get with a bad bitch just to, like, break her down or some shit and feel better about themselves. Yeah, you're a psychopath if you do that. That shit is so weird. How about you get you an ugly asshole and keep it at bed? Okay. Well, you're pretty in some of yours. Mm-hmm. Only your face and nothing with love. Okay. And equally supportive. Honestly, I yes, want you to be more supportive thing. than I am supportive of you. Type shit. And that's not saying because I'm not supportive. You're very I'm supportive. I'm a big procrastinator. 
and I don't be on top of my game sometimes. And sometimes I will overthink too much, like nail stuff. I overthink too much and uh, criticize myself so much, and I be trying so hard. Just need to push. You do really good, though. <clears throat> but that motivation from a significant other hits different because it's like we both working hard. And sometimes it'd be the other way around. Sometimes they need to push me. Sometimes they'd be like, man, this shit not working. But it's like, bro, you just got to keep going. But I would say mentally stable, but no, mentally stable enough. Yeah, nobody's going to be. I don't expect you to come to me like fully perfect package, but enough where you're aware of your emotions, you're aware of certain things. We can be vulnerable. We can talk with each other. And I don't feel like you're trying to belittle me or make me feel dumb or try to gaslight me or any of that bullshit. Cool, but... You don't gotta be perfect. Just you gotta be on the same level. Actually, I want you to be higher than me. Not. You know what I thought about? I like I've never really dated somebody that can teach me anything. Like I was always the person that was like, they would come to me for stuff, or, like all the other shit. Like, but I want somebody to tell me something different, teach me, help me on some shit. Not saying like you gotta like you know help me, but what can I learn from you? Type shit. Like I'm always teaching you something. I'm always helping you. I'm always. Pouring into you, can you pour into me type shit? Can we both help each other grow? It's not just me trying to grow and help you grow at the same time where it's like I'm not giving enough attention to myself because I'm trying to work this dead ass plant. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another one. But I don't quite remember what it was. Oh, what I mean by higher than me, I mean like I want you to be where I want to go. As far as success wise or motivation wise or whatever, I want to be able to look up to you, but you're not finna be that nigga or the bitch over me. You're not finna. Don't ever think you can control me. Don't ever think that. You trick ass bitch. Because a lot of people have tried that. One people, well, one person almost succeeded. Dumb bitch then. Um, but I ended up lashing out in like the worst way possible. <laughs> You got the best of both worlds. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus. That last out was for the books. Passing the phone to a bitch that. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. We, we should. should. We, you know what? We'll talk Passing the that. phone to a bitch that has on a wig over her braided hair that she just got done. Passing so. the phone to a bitch that didn't take the hair out of the rubber band because she took her box braids. I didn't have it around. See, oh, right. yeah. you, uh, it was like Rupert's hair was like dangling down, like you know, Chucky hair. Mm-mm. See, they're assuming you lost whatever. You done passing the phone? Yeah, because you lost. You just okay. Let's okay, try again. Let's try again. Passing the phone to a bitch that love language is physical touch does not like physical touch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, last time you just got rough. <laughs> I mean, you went there, so I had to go there. I had to go there. Yes, you did. Well, how did I go there? I don't remember because it was so little to me. So that's how you know I knew. You got it. it. Is it? But yeah, I mean, you took it there, so I went all the way there. You put the little destination in GPS, I drove. You're right, it's this right. I can't finish the word. Yeah. I forgot it. Okay, whatever. But I mean, well, that's another trait I gotta work on because if you paid it to me, there's a you know that scene from Jimmy Girls, I can go farther. I can go farther. That's hard. That's me. <laughs> but that's sometimes like, I haven't done it in a while. I think because I was like missing being toxic towards you, I kind of went there. I miss going farther. Like Nigga said, oh my god, I'll be me thinking about like the situation where I was on a break with my ex, whatever. And then that when he started like doing like real childish shit, mm. I started going far as hell because <laughs> oh you wanna I can go farther. I can take you there. <laughs> you wanna go? Yeah, I gotta do like yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause my ad when I be thinking like damn hard, you was really <laughs> trying to hurt that nigga. Child. I, never mind. No self incrimination. I was being self incriminating. But was there more to that topic? I right, think so. Okay, last topic. <sighs> <clears throat> Sex ed. It's time to get kinky. 
Y'all, yeah, I just want y'all to know that she came up with this topic. I just work here. <laughs> I just okay, here. what is one of your kinks? What do you like? What's something that, like, let's get into it. I love clean ears. And not because I'm doing anything with them, but that automatically just okay. sets the tone. Sex at kink edition. What's one of your kinks? Like, you probably don't really, I don't know you probably don't actually but... You like your head getting thrown against the wall, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love a good toaster upside my head. What? Um, it don't have to be like descriptional. Just what <laughs> I don't need no. You go first. Oh, I didn't think about you. Um, yikes! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the topic that you don't want to talk about for real, and you put it on the topic list. Oh, never mind. We're gonna skirt. <laughs> When I say my personal life don't be on here, that's what it is. Thank you. I don't know why. Like I just thought, you know, we can talk about kinky. Let's talk about kinks. Let's just I'm gonna Google some kinks and we're gonna talk about them and hope we think about them. Okay. Cause that's better than saying Yeah. Yeah, I like to get you know my mama pulled up this you <laughs> You like to have a hamburger stuffed in your nostrils? That's what you said? That's exactly what she was said to you. Girl. And I do not have time for that. I'm like, they cancel the show. <laughs> that was, nah. It's not that. We're not that kind of party. When you know, tell the body and I pull up in the vr, vr, man, vr, vr. I can imagine how his face was just. Mm. Mm. Did you burp? Yeah, it's a spaghetti. Bit. Yeah. Don't be tight. Oh, okay. Okay, so why see. did you just go to England? <sighs> <clears throat> What's the kids girl? Be quiet. Girl, I'm lit in. I, this, there's here's one. No kink shaming. It's called balloon fetish. What the fuck is that? <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, that was Sex, such a hard sexual arousal from balloons, which often involves inflation of one's body part by inserting balloons underneath clothes. So what you telling me? So you mean like when I was little, I would put the balloon in my, my t-shirt because I was pregnant? Oh, I was even say double D's. That was some D's on it. Be, did, nah, people, whatever, whatever. How do you feel about that kink? I never heard about that. Never heard about that? I don't this think I would ever do it. Bellinophilia. Bellino, Bellinophilia. With sexual arousal to sharp objects such as needles, pins, and razors. You're a fucking creep. Sorry if you had that. I kink. just said no kink shaming. This bitch, you're. I'm asking, would you like? Would you do that shit? I yes, mean, I that means you. That means you get aroused on a medical table in the hospital room. No, no, no. Getting a kidney surgery. Keep me up. Don't put me to sleep. <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> okay. Diaper fetish. Sexual arousal from a diaper or the use of it. It's usually incorporated into <sighs> infertilism. Scat. <laughs> That's the what? <laughs> you see the word? <laughs> Infel- infel- pedophile. Pedo- pedo- pedophilia. What do you see? It's a P word. Yeah, That's what it is, basically. Info- the- infertilism. That's infant I- in that word. Oh my god. That's what that means. Scat. What a spot. Humiliation and dominance. If y'all don't know what a scat is, it's what the monkeys throw at the window. Bananas? <laughs> They're shit. Oh. My okay. I, I know I'm saying it wrong. A basifolia. A basifolia. Attraction to people in neck braces, wheelchairs, casts, or other devices that impair mobility that was documented for the first time. Oh, that's history. Um... Would you have that? Hey, babe, put on that neck brace. I like. No. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you like this the whole time? <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> okay, this one's called technophilia. A sexual. Ar- <laughs> I almost not. I, I really want to just punch the phone out your head. I flinched because I caught myself. A sexual attraction. <laughs> Sexual attractions to technology such as cyborgs, robots. Give me that vacuum. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mixing, mixing, mixing. <laughs> okay. Alexa. <sighs> go to the. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. You have. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but I've never heard of these kinks in my entire life. We should probably. This is funny. You want to make this a segment? Kinks. Random kinks. I was still stuck on the kitchen aid. <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean that'd be cool, I guess. I don't know. We'll talk about it. <laughs> Just give a fuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Read it out loud. I just couldn't pronounce that word. <laughs> um Why my nose like it's not it's like it's a wet but it's not. It's the word. This the thing that rhymes with doc is just all on this page. Read. No, no, no. The thing that words that rhymes with doc but starts with a C is all on this page and it's making me disgusted. Like I feel like I love that. Okay. Um wait, corophilia. I'm no, I'm saying that wrong. A kink related to legs. There's a lot of like old men that if oh you touch my, my leg God. right now, I'll... I almost did, but like I just thought about <laughs> it. Niggas really be buying bitches' legs off the black market, bro. Like that's a that's a market. Like bitches will go missing and they'll come up chopped up and shit. Niggas be buying body parts off the black market. Niggas really no king shaming, but niggas really be sick. It's the the name of this <clears throat> dorophilia, like door the explorer, playing with skin, leather or fur. If you touch my purse and do look. <clears throat> Love. Excuse me, God. <laughs> um, technicals, a sexual obsession, obsession with tentacles, which usually a fictional creature, and decepted in porn or erotic and animation. Tentacle porn. Fire play. I see. It involves fire. Then that sounds kind of cool. This sounds weird. I just want to read it because of the word. <clears throat> This aromania, this aromia, this these aromania. This yeah. This aromania. This or I don't know. This aromania. Get the queen and get her. That's the <laughs> a sexual obsession with a collection of woman clothing, especially undergarments. <clears throat> weapon fetish, sexual arousal to weapons. Yeah, put that gun on the dress. All right. I thought they said measles to be over for a second. Wet and messy fetish. Sexually aroused by the act of applying wet, slime, and messy substances on other than bo- other than body the fluids to the naked skin or clothes, also known as splooshing. Seven to Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Seven to fi- what the fuck? Sabotophilia, fetish for people who have a cognitive impairment or delay. What's up with y'all these mental illnesses? That dendrophilia, mm-hmm. sexually attracted to trees. What about Mr. Tree attracted you? Was the bark? Was his big stump? Was his long branches? The sexy leaves. Just imagine if there's a little baby tree right there. It's like no, not a. <laughs> White pepper. <laughs> Zoophilia. <laughs> the zoo animals. Sexual arousal are sexual preference for non-human animals. It is not an actual act of having sex with animals. Only having erotic feelings and fantasies involving animals <clears throat> is not against the law. <sighs> yeast. Wait. Yeastiality. Sexual activity involving bread, especially warm dough. This may be an alleged kink. Introducing yeast to genitals that can lead to an infection. What? Yeastiality. Nozolingus. Nozolingus. Sexual arousal to licking or sucking someone's nose. Oculatitious. Sucking a... Bro. What the fuck does this say? Is that Russian? <laughs> A sexual obsession with ooh, 
Sexual arousal to eyes, sucking on eyes. This one says sexually obsession with teeth licking. I'm sorry. You're not. I'm done, I'm with, done with this. It's I'll, just the fact that I'm seeing handicapped. I just don't feel like race, trees, uh, yeast. I've heard it of like kinks, but I. I just, I've heard like golden shower or 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 that's the most I've heard. I'm just rating. It's just when I went to this, I had hopes for the world, and coming out of it, I feel scared. we're never doing this again. Yeah, this is not a say, man. We want to keep up. Um, I did say no kink shaming, but some of those things were a bit questionable. I, not my preference. I just don't look at a tree and say. Mm. That's just not me. <laughs> but like, please, if y'all out here messing with the bark, please be careful. Oh my god! If I see you in my backyard doing a hump, the hump. Now, no one your mercy. There's a whole crackhead in my backyard. It's just like I just never in my life thought this was going to be where this was going to go. But, like, there's people really out here with that stuff or into that stuff. And it's like, if you're into it, if I offended you, I'm sorry. I'm just very cut off guard by this. And honestly, it's our opinion, so don't be so sensitive. Thanks. That's what's wrong with this generation. Everybody's so sensitive. You know that, um, what's that TikTok when my um, friend's too nice and somebody try her? What's it? Um, talk to me. I'll talk. Yeah, that's you. You've seen the TikTok. I'm not I thought it was the, um, Evil twin. No, that's not evil twin. It's the it's like oh talk to me. me. And then she the little person come out running like talk and they be having bats. Yeah, that's you little person. Okay, so um I just wanted to argue on the show. You didn't even argue with me. I'm not gonna argue with you the whole time. <clears throat> Whatever. It, it didn't give me good content, like it wasn't enough. Yeah. I don't know, I just I don't I just feel like just felt like yeah, so we're gonna get into the risk. I don't. I mean, do you have a risk? I'm gonna think about I don't one. have a risk. I can't think of any. I haven't really been that risky recently. Me either. In the past, I kind of took on my past risk. I guess, um. Yeah, I don't really have a risk for this week. Um, but if I have one, shit, y'all here next week. Thank you guys for watching. Girl? What? Think of the spirit theory. I know, but that's the other half. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad, y'all. We out. Bitch, no, that's not the exit. I mean, what? you ended it wrong anyway. No, I didn't. I was going to say something. Oh, go ahead. I know we took a little break. It was on me because I lost money in my family. But thank you guys for sticking out with us. We love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. For too risky, stay safe because call this out here if you're getting vaccinated to do this shit. If you're not shit, do you boo boo? Be safe. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs>